welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorba, your host, broadcasting to you from the Clear Channel Studios, 1190 AM KFXR here in Dallas, Texas. All right, it's my special guest, Karen Zatare, Chief Executive Officer of Axogen, on the show with us today. AXGN is the symbol, and let me tell you something. This is a superhero segment made in the USA and also a Texas employer. Not only is this a very, very good company, they heal people. They do good as well as make money. That is a winning combo. Karen, welcome to the show. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate it. All right. My pleasure. You've been in the industry for a little while. Give me a brief bio on you, and then I'd love to dive into what your company does, how you do it, who you do it for, and then what the future holds for you. Well, my background is all in medical and surgical products, really looking at how we bring innovation in med tech uh, to impacting patient care. And I think Axigen is really a great example of, of, of that process. Um, we uh, have taken innovation and new advances in peripheral nerve and bioscience and translated that into to three products that are now commercially available here in the United States, um, impacting patients' lives in terms of providing new options and advanced science in peripheral nerve repair, and as you said, also providing jobs and economic development. Uh, that's kind of the winning formula to me of, uh, of an American success story. It certainly is. Talk to me about the products that you, you bring to market. So we have uh, products uh, all focused, again, in peripheral nerve repair. So the simplest way to describe it is to think about what do peripheral nerves do. Think of them as the wires of the body. They carry the signals from the brain, allowing you to have sensation or motor function, be able to move. And if that wire is cut in some way, you no longer have a signal, so that won't work. And, and that obviously is a problem for the patient, but also requires a surgical intervention. Uh, traditionally, what a surgeon had to do is they had to transplant a nerve from somewhere else in the patient's body in order to fix the injured site. So that's not great for the patient because you have to give something up in order to get some function that's more infor- important. Today, what we have are three products that allow the surgeon to repair those injured nerves with an off-the-shelf alternative that allows them to do that repair without the sacrifice of, of the surgery site. Um, our products are the advanced nerve graft. This is a human allograft nerve really game-changing technology and regenerative medicine offering, again, uh, that regenerative product to allow the nerve to heal itself. Wow. That's breakthrough stuff. Absolutely. Well, and the impact to the patients is significant. Um, In the past, again, if the patient has that second surgery injury, um, they're going to have an extra scar. They're going to have a longer surgical procedure. They're going to have the risk of pain and complications, and they're going to give up what that nerve did. And in extreme cases, a patient might not have enough donor nerve in order to even have the repair. An example of that is our wounded warriors. Uh, Edward Bonfilio is an example, a wonderful young man who was shot in Afghanistan, and uh, it was a sciatic nerve injury. Sciatic nerve is the main nerve that runs through the leg. With the extent of that injury, they would have amputated his leg. With our product now being available, they were able to repair the nerve uh, injury, and he was able to restore function and now is able to walk and run on his own leg. So again, impact to patients is tremendous. It's really a big motivator to us to be able to say, wow, that's something different that can happen today that wouldn't have happened before. This is amazing for me. You, you, you're really impacting people that right at, at the at the core. All right, what's the, what's the next product that you have? I'm looking. Is this, is that uh, Axelgard nerve protector? Yeah, Axelgard nerve protector. Uh, same ideas in terms of peripheral nerve repair, but now working and thinking about if you have compression on a nerve, that is something that your brain interprets as pain. And so, what we want to be able to do is to wrap and protect the nerve so that you don't have that sense of pain postoperatively. And so, the Axigard protector provides um, a, a, a soft tissue barrier around the nerve, again, surgically protecting it from soft tissue attachments. And then finally, we have the Axigard connector, which also works when the nerve is transected. It's essentially a coaptation aid that allows the surgeon to, uh, to repair a, a sharp transection, a, a time when the nerve is cut with a sharp. Uh, instrument like a kitchen knife or, or a surgical injury. Really, with these three products, it gives the surgeon all the tools they need to rebuild a peripheral nerve. Wow, this is this is really impactful stuff. Talk to me about the the market. How big is the peripheral nerve repair market? 
It's actually quite large. I think it's one of those things that we don't realize day to day how much peripheral nerves are impacted. Today, we focus in uh, predominantly the upper extremities, the, the arms, a little bit in the legs. Uh, that opportunity would be a $1.6 billion opportunity with, uh, with over, uh, well, actually with just under a million injuries a year. In addition to that, so that's a big market in itself, yep. but in addition to that, we see opportunities in peripheral nerve in many other applications. Uh, so today we focus in that, in that extremity market, but in the future, what we see is the opportunity to expand in other areas of the body, in things like surgical oncology. Uh, an example of that is in prostate cancer. Uh, prostate cancer, I'm sure everybody's familiar with that. You probably know someone who's had prostate cancer. Uh, clearly you want to remove the cancer, but there's a complication that is associated with that that causes erectile dysfunction and incontinence, and that's actually a nerve injury. And so in injuring those nerves, you cause that secondary complication. What we'd like to be able to do in the future is have that surgeon repair the nerves at the same time that they do the procedure and prevent the complication for long-term for the patient. Uh, another example is in breast reconstruction. Today, if a woman has a mastectomy, has cancer, has breast removed, when they do the flap reconstruction, you get the form of the breast, but not sensory recovery. You don't feel normal again. And we believe that we can provide normal function for patients or at least move towards normal function for patients by repairing those nerves. Again, things we get very excited about when you think about impact to patients and how we can change their lives. Yes, you've really, no pun intended, but you've really stuck a nerve with me on this one. All right, let, if we can, we only have so much time in the interview, and it's not your last one. I want to come back, bring you back later, but results. What has Oxygen delivered? Uh, absolutely. Well, through, through third quarter, we had $8 million in revenue. That's up 41% from 2012. We have good gross profit at 77%. Um, we continue our leadership in nerve repair, expanding our sales team, expanding penetration, and growing the business. Wow. That is, and future, where, 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 are, we, where are you taking us? Well, uh, continuing to grow and expand the company, we've now moved the company to NASDAQ. So from a stock standpoint, we're uh, readily available and tradable on NASDAQ. That was a big event for us this year. Uh, we've just opened our worldwide distribution center in Burleson, Texas. So we're continuing to expand and build the company in, in terms of our infrastructure and our sales team. And we're looking to grow internationally. So we're just starting to do international launches. Oh, I can't, I can't wait. All right, symbol again for your company. AXGN. Okay. Now, if somebody who's listening to this interview wants to know more about what you're doing and what you're going to do in the future, how they can invest in your company, how, how do they reach you and who do they call? Well, we're very accessible. Lots of ways people can uh, reach us. Patients can see About Nerves. It's uh, www.aboutnerve.com. Uh, investors can come to our website, www.oxygeninc.com. Uh, they can follow us on Twitter at, at Oxygen, uh, or they can call us. Greg Freitag is our CFO, very accessible, 612-619-6324, or contact us through email through the website. If somebody wants to get our press releases, you can also uh, select that on the website, and we'll be happy to send you all your press, our press releases and keep you updated on the company. Now, I noticed that you've done recently an interview on Bloomberg. Are there any other events that you're going to be at in the near future for our audience where they can go and shake hands or, 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 or listen to you? Well, we are at a number of investment conferences through the year. The next one is the Noble Conference uh, in, uh, here in Florida, and uh, happy to meet with people at that conference as well. All right, Karen, thank you so much for taking the time to be on our show. I really appreciate this. Thank you. All right, my pleasure. All right, you reach Karen Zadera at Oxygen Inc. at a x o g e n i n c dot com. Please look them up. And again, special shout out to Monk Media, M U N C Media, and one eight hundred Public Relations dot com for all their PR and marketing support. Good luck. Good trading. Thanks for listening to today's program. The Traders Network is a production of Yorba.tv LLC and is streamed live and archived at yorbamedia.com. Yeah.
We invite you to listen live, join in the conversation real time, and link to the Traders Network on the Yorba Media website. All opinions in this show are that of the presenters or their guests, and not of this station's owners or management. These opinions are for educational purposes only and should not be interpreted as investment or financial advice. All investments involve risk, and past performance is not indicative of future results. Tune into the Traders Network every Monday through Friday afternoon here on 1190 AM. 